What is going on, my fellow fish keepers? I am Daniel, and today we are going to be cleaning the 55 and the 1 gallon. I mean, not 1 gallon, the 3 gallon beta tank. Because as you can see, this piece of wood needs to come out. But first of all, we have to move the cup. They love it. Their cup. We're going to have to move. My beloved praying man is. Look at him, he's cool. Um, last night, I posted a video, he killed a Katie did that the head of it was wider than the Praying Mantis' own body. That was a pretty cool video, you should go watch it. Um, I didn't film him killing it, but um, he killed it. And it was insane. Do you guys want me to get more insects, more cool insects, maybe some more Katie dids? Comment down below. More predatories, you know, some crickets. Want me to breed crickets over the winter? Want me to buy some crickets to feed these guys? Leave a comment, because I will. Hey, buddy. How are you doing? Really light color? Do you know what's going to happen? So basically, you guys, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take off the light and the lid. I'm obviously going to move the cichlid pellets. But I'm going to take off the light, put it there, the lids, and put them there. I'm going to possibly have a life light shining on the actual aquarium so I can get in there and see everything. And um, it's going to take a while. What I'm basically going to do is I'm going to move all of this around so these two can find a place to hide. I'm going to catch uh, this one and properly sex it because I know that's a female more mature female but I don't know about that one I think it's a female though we will just find out when I net it and if it is a female I'm not going to get rid of it all I'm simply going to do is buy a male and put it in here and I don't know what I'm going to do with that one who knows maybe I'll keep it in there but if I do get rid of it I'm either just going to have that female and buy a fire mouse cichlid or I'm going to buy another convict a male this time or I'm going to buy both another male convict and a fire mouse. So who knows? They sell them at Meyer, they sell them at PetSmart, um, they sell them at Petco. They sell them everywhere, apparently, except for Moby Dicks. So who knows what they will have in stock when I go searching. But, um, yeah, we'll just have to see. I'm guessing it's, uh, it's going to be a female. They haven't been fighting lately. Um, Frank has been attacking them. Um, Buddy's been attacking them. And so has Clarice. But, um... I'm hoping when I rearrange the tank, it'll give them more areas to hide um, that are smaller. You know, I don't know what I'm exactly going to do, but um, basically I'm going to go get the towel really quickly here. I'm going to get the lights off, and once I do all that, I'll show you guys. Basically what this towel is going to do is when I um, take all the rocks and stuff out, I have somewhere clean to put them instead of on my floor. So I'm going to take all the plants out. I'm going to redo the rock structure to make it better. Well, these guys can hide better because they're pretty important for the aquarium. I'm going to get all the dead fish that were eaten and then puked up because apparently they got so bored that they just wanted to kill them for whatever. And it'll give a lot more areas for the everyone to hide at when they're stressed out or scared. And I'll check back with you when I get the lights and the lid off. Alright, now next up I'm going to take out the rocks and the plants and put them back in in a different manner. I will see you when they're all out and on this towel. Hang on, let me get some. There we go. Just like. Let's try that again. Just like that. Anyway, they're all out and now it is time to capture the smallest convict and sex it. I'm hoping male, but I am almost 80% sure. Well, no, I'm like 95% sure I'm going to get female because if they were male, if it was a male, they would have been together all the time and they would have already found a breeding area. So let's do this. Alrighty, my friends, I'm extremely shocked, but we have ourselves a male convict. Just for further comparison, I netted both of them. Now they are, I think, a few weeks to a month apart. Maybe. But, 
Until further notice, that is a male convict cichlid, and I'm actually really, really happy that it is. So now I can make a breeding house for them and see how it goes from there. He's small, he's aggressive, they fight, they're not yet hit, they haven't yet hit sexual maturity, but it seems that that little guy is a male. I think I have confirmed it, I netted the other one, I cannot really even see his anal vents. I see two, I see one of them, and it's small, and it's the front one, which is usually the one that should be enlarged as an egg tube anyway, so, yeah. We might have to wait till he hits sexual maturity, but we might not because it's looking like we have ourselves a male and a female convict cichlid on our hands, so I picked correctly. We'll see. Let's hope. Let's get all these back in the tank. Right? Alright, everyone. I got the new stuff in. It's a little lower key. Um, I made everything a little bit lower so I could have a lot more rock hiding places and um, I made a lot of areas for them to get up under a lot of areas that hopefully the jag won't want to go I'm hoping the jag just sticks to this rock right here I'm hoping that they breed in this rock if they do end up breeding if they if that one is and still continues to be a male then I hope that they go in there and breed as their breeding place other than that I'm gonna turn off the filter I'm gonna clean the filter um, for the first time, this will be my first time cleaning that. Then I will get it back in there, actually. Take out this dead fish. While I'm here. Ugh. Gross. Throw it in the garbage, right, Miranda? Yeah. So I'm currently home watching my baby sister right now and cleaning an aquarium. Next, what you do is you wipe down the sides with a nice dry washcloth and never mind it just got wet but um hey that's not yours just gonna wipe everything down get everything all snazzy and clean um two three four four five all right five down there I'm gonna turn this off and I'm gonna clean it pretty good I've never cleaned it before, this will be interesting. See you then. Alrighty everyone, it is finished. Got the light on. Alrighty, let's turn on the lights and see how it looks. Three, two, four. There we go. Look at that. Now it is really cloudy right now. It'll clear up really quickly though. Um, the filter is silent. So you can hear, hang on, let me turn off my fan. Everything in here is coming from that filter. This thing is virtually silent. It's perfect. I love it. It is awesome. Now, we wait and we watch for where these guys are going to go. Let's see. Let's watch them. Let's watch them. It's like a whole new realm for them. It's a lot more open. There's a lot less height to um, all of the rock structures. There's a lot more room in the middle. Here they come. They're swimming along here. They're swimming around right now. They're just swimming around. They're not in their um, usual colors yet. Oh, you like it under there. Where do they find that? I like that area that I made. I made a little area under there. That, this thing over the top, comes all the way to another hideout here. I like it. They might choose that, though. I don't know why. I want them to choose this. There's a lot more cover here for young, which is why I put a lot more rocks and a lot of plants over there. It's mainly because of that. So, let's just... Wait and see, really. Jaguar swimming through all these little holes and stuff. See? Looks like she likes that one. 
so they might get that one. I mean, if they want it and the Jaguar don't, I made it for the Jag. But, um, you know. I feel like if, um, the Jag pushes them over here and they find this, I think they're going to like it a lot more. Just looking at it, it looks like a perfect spot for them to live. Checking out under here. We're going in every little hole they possibly can. Oh. He found it. Just my dad telling me he's going to go cut the grass. Let's see. It'll take a little bit before they choose, but um, I'm hoping they choose this side. A lot less open area here. Because um, I think that'll give them more cover. They look like they're being accustomed to this little ed ledge here instead of this. Which is fine. You know, there's still a lot of cover there. The, they can still go over there too. They can have two nests. Oh, female found it. The main female. Still not sure about you. Even though I properly sexed you and didn't see any egg tube. Never know. Never know with these cichlids. Frank is still incredibly scared. The water quality is not pristine for breeding anyway. As you can see, my filters have a lot of work to do. Right here, as you can see, they have a lot of work to do. Um... Which I'm pretty sure they'll get that done. If they choose that area to lay their eggs, and uh, the eggs get laid, you are going to see a lot of aggression out of these two. They did it last night. It was with this hideout. Um, I made it about the same as it was last time. I just made it a little bigger, figuring the Jag would like that more. You know, a little bigger and a little bit lower as well. There's not as much cover over here. It's more of an open swimming area, which is where I would hope the larger cichlids would stay away from these closed areas. That jag seems to like it over here, though. It's a good spot. I hope you are a boy. I spent a long time with this fish out of the water, looking at it, and I didn't see barely anything. So, guessing that means male, you know. So, let's just be hopeful. You know, cross our fingers. We'll see, we'll see. I will check back with everyone in a couple hours to do the water quality and stuff. I'll actually do a hardness test in here. Next it is this one, which we have to do today. It's pretty bad, so we'll get that done. But other than that, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm not going to film that one because that one's going to be much more frustrating and take a while. Hope you all enjoyed this video though and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.